guys, uh, Connor here again for another video. Uh, I'm f my new microphone finally came in the mail, so I hope the audio quality on this is a lot better and will continue to be for uh, all the rest of the videos that I make. Um, the thing's very fun. It lights up rainbow LEDs as I talk, um, so I'm enjoying it. Anyway, um, I thought we'd do something fun today. Uh, this was one of the first ever little puzzles or games or whatever you want to call it um, that I made on Spline that's interactive that you can add to your website or share with your friends or whatever. So each of these little boxes is a button um, that has a reaction to it. Um, there's no instructions to the game but there's this small key over here um, which gives you a clue at what you're trying to attempt. So, as you start to click the buttons, different things happen. Um, and as you can see, it starts to get closer to this key. However, um, as you press certain buttons, um, certain hidden objects appear, like what just happened there, um, but also, um, as you can see, um, as I just click this button, it makes one box go to the correct space that it wants to go, but there's also a delay and it takes another box away. So you have to try and figure out how to get this purple square, um, there with all the boxes remaining. What's frustrating is that when one box goes to the right place, um, there's a delay on the removal of another box. So, um, you have to figure out how to make these invisible buttons appear, um, and what you can do. See, see that shadow that just happened right there? That tells you that there's something, you know, hiding right there. So you have to try and figure out, oh, see, there it is. So I got this invisible button there, but it also took away this purple um square so basically you just have to keep you know trying all the different things waiting for the delays to happen making the invisible buttons appear uh etc um as you can see um even i really don't know how to do this so um just give me one second as you can see, there's a cheat button hidden up here, um, which uh, gives you some instructions on how to um, make the video work. And if you don't know how to use transitions, uh, transition states, and all that stuff, uh, you can check out one of my earlier videos. But basic, basically, you can click any one of these boxes, and you go to the events, and you'll see um, this top right square makes the bottom left square go from its current state to its purple state. So that's this one. So when you click this one, that one happens. But there's also a removal, which has a two second delay, which takes the top left um, square, which is this one up here, and removes it from its purple spot and brings it back to its original state. So um, each one of these squares is a button but it doesn't affect itself. It on They all affect um, either one, two, or three other things going on in the puzzle. Um, so and that's all using states and transitions. So let me show you the cheat button. Here we are again looking at the puzzle and if you click this cheat button hopefully a little key appears so this means this is the top left square. So that mean that that shows you the exclamation point means it puts the top right box in the right place, but it puts the top right center box back in its old position. So the exclamation points all mean that it moves that certain thing to the right place. It means top left center, top right, top right center, middle left, middle right, yada yada. Even this black dot makes the ball appear. And so that's the key, and um, that's how you get the puzzle. Uh, I'll put a link to my Behance profile so you guys can try out the puzzle for yourself, and also a link to my Gumroad where you'll be able to download this file and mess around with it and see all the things I did with it. As far as transitions go, please like and subscribe, and talk to you soon.